prima di trasferirsi a Venezia to e terminare il, la sua vita a Roma And, his life in Rome.
1595 to 1594, and the piece is called O Jesu Christe, and it's another four-part montage. Uh, Bergen nasce e ad Anversa, una città dell'attuale dell Olanda. And he was born in Anvers, I can't remember what it's called in English, in Holland. Però viene a perfezionarsi in Italia, a Venezia. And he comes to study and perfect his art in Venice. Dove un suo uh, connazionale uh, inizierà quella che diventerà la scuola celebre di San Marco a Venezia. Where one of his colleagues from Holland uh, founded the school, the famous school in St. Mark in Venice. St. Mark's in Venice. Uh, passa poi al, alla cattedrale di Verona. And he moves then to the cathedral in Verona. Dopodiché eh, si stabilisce definitivamente in Italia al servizio del re di Napoli. And then he finishes his career at the service of the king of Naples. Uh, that's a lot to remember. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, so Palestrina is the most famous of all the Italian polyphonic composers, and he was the first to be nominated uh, the composer of the Ch Sistine Chapel in perpetuity. Did I say that in English? I think so. È il punto di riferimento di tutti i compositori europei del Cinquecento. che è considerato uno degli iniziatori della scuola fiorentina who is considered the, one of the initiators of the Florentine school of Polifone poi si trasferisce a Roma and then he, he moves to Rome e termina la sua carriera alla corte di Francia con, il, lui, his, con il re Luigi XII and he ends his career at the, at the court of Louis XII Louis XII of France.
che abbiamo presentato fino adesso sono importanti perché, eh, per capire quella che poi diventerà la scuola fiorentina. Uh, all the pieces we've listened to so far and all these composers are very important because they're the ones who are going to define the Florentine school of Bonaparte. Dalla metà del quindicesimo secolo in poi, from the second half of the 15th la scuola fiorentina eh, rivoluzionerà tutta l'arte compositiva in Europa. The Florentine school re re will revolutionize polyphonic music for our heroes. E da uno di questi più importanti compositori sono tratti i due brani che ascolterete adesso. And one of the composers The most important composer of this period. We will hear two of his works, and his name is Marco Magaliano, and his dates are 1582 to 1643. And by the way, this ensemble is the choir Marco da Galliano. Questo brano che eseguiremo adesso è scritto nel 1628. And it was written in 1628. Dopo che il maestro ha scritto cinque opere di teatrali di cui solamente due sono arrivate in mano. After which he has he already written five operas of which only two we still have. Quindi questa è una composizione che acquisisce un'espressione di tipo teatrale. And so this is one of these works that is already showing off a theatrical aspect. So the, you know, him writing operas, the the theatricity is coming into the work. The religious work. <laughs>
thank you for being here. And especially I want to thank Maestro Nocettini and the Congo Marco da Galliano because this was something that I was very lucky to attend their concert, I think, three weeks ago. And I was brave enough to go up and ask if he, by any chance, would like to come here and sing and maybe do one piece with our students. And as you can see, we did uh, quite a bit more than one. And I think it's been a fantastic, I don't know, I hope maybe my students will disagree. And they're not my students, I don't know, no, by the way. But they do study with me, and we work together learning these pieces. And again, hope, I think this was a fantastic experience for them to be able to join this ensemble and sing all this really beautiful and fantastic music. And thank you, Maestro. Thank you, Corda Galliano. Thank you, students, for doing this when you could have been out shopping. Uh, well, you know, thank you. It has been a beautiful and interesting experience, and they're very grateful. Le, le ragazze e, e Jason sono stati molto attenti e hanno collaborato con noi in maniera molto entusiastica e anche diligente. She says that our students have been very diligent and have worked very hard and followed them very well. Peccato che tornano in USA perché avremmo voluto averle con noi. And I'm thanking myself. No, I do thank you for not only translating but for teaching the notes to the students. Yeah, to our students. And we hope to do something similar next year. And if you want to come back next year, it'll be great. Allora, in omaggio a queste ragazze e anche quelli che sono intervenuti stasera, presentiamo fuori programma tre composizioni. Una sempre di Marco D'Agagliano. È un madrigale scritto nel 1608. E il madrigale è una composizione di, di, di tipo amoroso. So it's a love madrigal. E un, un, un giovane rivolge il canto alla propria innamorata. A uh, young man is singing a love song to his beloved. E noi la, 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 la cantiamo in, in forma sacra latina perché all'epoca non c'era distinzione tra sacro e profano ma spesso si prendevano i testi sacri, si mettevano in profano e viceversa con le musiche lo stesso. So instead of singing, a lot of these madrigals have both a sacred text and a sec a sacred ah, a sacred text and a secular text. And in this case, he's going to sing the same madrigal but with the sacred text in Latin. <laughs>
po' di allegria fa bene eh, allo spirito e lasciarci con un canto più gioioso. So something happy and joyous is a good way to end. Eh, facciamo adesso due composizioni scritte per il carnevale. So we're doing two pieces that were written for carnival. Uno è Adriano Banchieri, metà 1500. And one is by Adriano Banchieri, who is from the half of the, of the 16th century. Eh, una, Comunque, in un periodo di carnevale l'autore immagina che eh, un gruppo di persone cammini cantando per strada e dietro di loro ci siano degli animali che li accompagnano con il, il loro verso, verso naturale. So this is a humorous piece in which there's a group of people singing and they're being followed by a group of animals who are also singing. E qui ci sarà un gruppo che fa le persone serie. And there's a group doing the serious people. E il rimanente del coro che fa il cane, il gatto e alcuni uccelli. And the rest of the chorus is doing the cat, the dog and the birds. Posso tutto una cosa? And then what's also very interesting, and for, I don't know if there's any music students who have learned, that there was an art form that was called the isorhythmic motet. And it was a very serious and important thing. And the Dufay motet written to celebrate the inauguration of the Duomo was written in this very really rigorous medieval and partly Renaissance style. And what he's doing is he's actually making, poking fun at this old system by creating an isorhythmic motet using a cantus firmus, etc., by the adding cats and dogs on top instead of the regular melody. So I don't know if that sounds funny, but if you do study the cantus firmus, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Preparation, but also for the translations. E se è stato piacevole collaborare con, con 
queste persone e altrettanto, altrettanto piacevole lavorare con voi. It's been a real pleasure working with you. And also this work is about Carnival. Composto da Gioacchino Rossini, l'autore del Barbieri Siviglia. Written by Gioacchino Rossini, the author of the Barber of Seville. Uh, Gioacchino Rossini era un personaggio molto allegro e piaceva divertirsi. He was a very happy person who liked to enjoy himself. Like allora, allora si inventa che durante il, il periodo del Carnevale a Venezia, il celebre Carnevale di Venezia, and so during the Carnival in Venice, un gruppo di uomini, di giovani e di uomini, a group of young men, cerca di catturare le grazie di alcune signore, or trying to seduce some young ladies, fingendosi un po', un po vecchi, quindi bisognosi di affetto, pretending to be older men seeking affection, oh, no, make sense. E le, le signore ovviamente fanno finta di, uh, di stare al gioco, and the ladies are pretending to play along, e così fra uno scherzo e l'altro non si accorgono che il carnevale finisce e come dice è morto. And with, you know, with all this playing around, you, they don't even realize that carnival is over and nothing happens. Come tutto il carnival finisce. And like everything, the carnival ends.